The light horse has become so iconic and so inseparable from the whole Anzac story that reenactment groups have popped up all over the country. Now, of course, to many people, the words reenactment group cause a bit of a, well, cringe factor. For instance, growing up in England, nothing made my parents cringe more than fully grown men dressing up in suits of armour and bashing each other around the head with various medieval instruments. It sounds like a lot of fun to me. But my point is, these guys are very different. It's less of a reenactment group and more of a genuine, heartfelt tribute to the Australian soldier and his horse. I've come to visit Frank Patterson. Frank is the troop commander of the second light horse Wombai troop. I want to ask him why he became involved with the light horse and what are the objectives of the organisation in the 21st century? Well it started when I um, was looking for a place to live around here in this general district and um, decided on this place. And while we were looking around at the property, we walked into the, uh, the shed and there was a huge, a huge uh, photograph of um, a light horse troop all set up in troop line. And I said, where'd you get that photo from? And this chap said, well, that's me there and that's, he's the troop commander and he's so-and-so. And I said, wow. I said, uh, where do I join? He goes, my love of my life it has always been horses and the second love is things military. I used to ride uh, a big Clydesdale horse called Blossom mm -hmm. and um, just just for fun every time this chap walked, came past our, our house in Nambour and uh, after that it was whatever I could thieve or sort of you know <laughs> derive in any in any way um, yeah, I'd, I'd ride. I'd ride a horse. Uh, when, I, when I left school, my mother wanted me to be a bank johnny and um, I became a stockman on a cattle property up on Cape, or not on Cape York, uh, up in the Gulf of Carpentaria. And it's, I've been, I've been into horses and things military for a long time. Mm, and that just put the two, the two things together. Perfect, yeah, yeah, it was perfect for me. Troop yeah, troop commander. Yeah, um, our the way it works with us is um, we're we're very diplomatic about the whole thing, and we um, all the decisions are made between us. Um, but once once the decisions are made, then it's my my job to carry it out, and uh, and I do that to the best of my ability. But, um, from what I know now, um, I can train people the way they should be trained for the light horse. Objectives are the, the main one, one of the, I've only picked the main ones, and that is um, to promote inspiration from and, and pride in the Australian light horse, especially in relation to the great personal sacrifices made on the battlefield which enable us all to, to enjoy the freedom that we have today. They're pretty quiet. Um, I'll go and ask somebody up this end. Okay. To foster an awareness in the community with a particular emphasis on school children uh, of the light horse's achievements and traditions in our country's history and that's why we, we are so full of ourselves when we go to schools prior to Anzac Day.
to train for and participate in competitions with other light horse troops in traditional inter-troop contests and things like that, um, and, and reenactment rides. Mm -hmm.